change of habit, making a lifestyle change. Grandma's porch. Sit down, relax, enjoy. Here on Grandma's porch. Changing a habit sometimes requires a lifestyle change. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. So I got to thinking today about making changes in our life. It could be in any area of life. It could be the way we spend money. It could be um, the way we eat, you know, meaning that we want to be healthier and make healthier choices. Maybe we want to get fit. Maybe um, we want to have great relationships. Maybe we want to actually start a new career or go back and go back to school and so I got to thinking about when we make a significant change in our life especially when it comes to a habit we want to get rid of a bad habit and go to a good habit often we have to change variables around it often we have to create a lifestyle change to support us creating a new habit or a new goal and often people continue uh, with the same support system they had for a bad habit and they don't get out of that habit because they haven't created a new support system for the good new habit that they want to create. So in other words, if we want to create a good habit, we often have to create a lifestyle around it. We often have to create a support team or a support system around it. If I hang out with a friend and all they do is go out to the all that you can eat buffet, they're more likely to influence me in that direction direction than me to influence them in the direction of health and fitness. So it's important for me to hang out with people who want to be healthy and fit. If I'm hanging out all the time with people that are not healthy and fit and are going purposefully in that direction of, you know, all that you can eat buffets and fast foods and things like that, um, that may not that may take me away from the goal that I've set for myself. So whether it's a weight loss issue, whether it's a financial issue. If I'm hanging out with people that spend their money all the time, I'm more likely to spend my money. If I hang out with people who are frugal, I'm more likely to be frugal. And so we have to build a support team, a, a support system, and a lifestyle, in a sense, around the habits that we want to change to. Um, we also or if a goal that we want to achieve. You know, if I say I want to go back and go to college, but all I'm doing is hanging around people that have no motivation in life, that's likely to pull me down and I may not go back to college. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's important that we surround ourselves with people who are going to inspire us, encourage us, motivate us, or be great role models for us during times of significant change in habits or significant change in goals. From from my house to yours. May God bless you. I hope to talk to you soon again. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all four of my channels. And so from grandma's porch to wherever you're at, may God bless you. And I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.
place to relax and a place to enjoy. Grandma's Brunch.